Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And guys, I have a question. Why do rolling gun battles continue to happen in gun control zones? It's weird, but I think we're going to attempt to get to the bottom of this. Everything is going to be linked in the description box below, and this footage is going to blow your mind. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. We have had a lot of people saying for some reason that subscribe button is turned off, so just check that bad boy, and I appreciate it. All right, so let's take a look at the article that I'm going to show you guys tonight, where this insane footage comes from, through ground.news. This is a website and an app, and honestly, it is an amazing place that I go to to give more information, to tie it all together, to pass our rights on to the next generation. Check this out. Wild gun battle on Connecticut Street sends dozens running and three wounded. So this is from NBC New York. Shockingly, it leans left. It's got high factuality ratings, and it's owned by a private wealthy owner and a private equity firm. I'm sure their intentions are completely in the middle and non-biased. Yeah. Well, something else that's really cool about this is it gives you some self-awareness analysis as well. And it shows you the factuality rates, the blind spot stories, where the articles come from, who I'm searching. Something really cool to see for yourself. There is a link in the description box below, ground.news slash Langley, to get 30% off and 5 bucks a month for your own subscription for the Vantage program. Thank you so much to them, and now let's get it. We have got to dive into this, my brothers and sisters. So... You guys remember when I did a video yesterday about armed groups that were, were starting to defend their own neighborhoods and patrol? The thumbnail looked like this. So they're losing control. You can go back within 24 hours. You can see it in my prior videos. The entire premise of that video was in Connecticut, people who lived in neighborhoods were arming themselves and doing neighborhood patrols. Pretty solid. Second Amendment allows you to do it. Good talk. And then we, of course, have to talk about the elephant in the room that Connecticut's a gun control state. And here you go, Connecticut number five, according to Every Town for Gun Safety for their common sense gun law practices. Well, it gets a little awkward when you have footage like this. Check this out. Back with a wild shootout in Connecticut. You see here people sent running for their lives as a barrage of bullets lit up the street in Bridgeport. Three people were shot tonight. We're hearing from one of those victims who made it out alive. News for Mark Santia has the story. Chaos on Park Avenue in Bridgeport. Bullets flying as people scramble for cover. This woman hit in the leg. This man hit in the chest and carried to a car. Then a race for help. Listen closely of the dozens of shots fired. Hmm. I'm sure those are legal gun owners who have just bypassed the, by the uh, background check system. Nothing to see here. After all, this is Connecticut, the number five on Every Time for Gun Safety, for gun safety. Um, the only problem is mm, it, gun control doesn't work. You are literally seeing rolling gun battles between armed groups of people who are most likely not buying those from gun shops. I can't say no or yay because I wasn't there. Haven't seen the data, but I can make a pretty educated guess. You've got people literally walking up and down the streets having open gun battles and you're going to sit here and tell me that it's gun owners who are going through the buying process through a 4473 and a gun show or a gun shop no no it's not these guys on this clip no 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 it's definitely the people who embrace their second amendment rights responsibly because you're the ones facing all the penalties you're the ones facing all the constitutional infringements infringements while these guys are literally running around the street hopping backwards blasting indiscriminately hitting civilians and bystanders this would actually be considered an, uh, a mass shooting for the Gun Violence Archive, just so you guys know how bad they're manipulating you every single day. This right here, mass shooting, not gang violence, not battle between scuffle turning into a shootout. No, no, no. It's all about guns, mass shooting, obviously. This is how they get to the number of 600 per year. But anyway, I've got more stuff for you. But does it start to make sense why people in Connecticut might start arming themselves and walking the streets of their neighborhood to protect themselves, as we covered yesterday? You've got all the gun sense, common sense gun control in the world in Connecticut. It's number five on the Everytown's list. You've got extreme gun control against legal everyday citizens. And then you have this kind of activity going around, which is prompting people to utilize their guns and patrol their neighborhoods. You tell me gun control works. But that's okay. I got one more thing for you because, as always, there's a pretty common theme. Check this out. Bridgeport police say there were multiple shooters. This man believes it was sparked by people who don't live in the neighborhood. The people that live in the neighborhood are cool. 
It's the people that don't live in the neighborhood that's coming and hurting this neighborhood. No one is in custody. Police are looking for help to identify the shooters in the video. In Bridgeport, Connecticut, I'm Mark Santia, News for New York. Does that sound familiar that every time, every time that we cover one of these things, it's always there were multiple shooters, there was a fight, and no one knows anything, and no one's ever arrested, there's never any points of interest. You ever notice that? Because these are the mass shootings that the media would tell you and Gun Violence Archive would tell you are responsible for everything. You guys smelling the rat yet? The entire thing here is gun control does not work. It is an infringement upon the legal, and it only enhances the power of the criminals. These people are doing this so bad that individuals in neighborhoods are starting to arm themselves and walk the streets. And the whole thing was, well, you have a duty to retreat if you're a law-abiding citizen. This is what the real world is like while politicians are up here telling you what, it's, what they think it's like. There's a pretty big discrepancy, and that's why I wanted to bring this to you. Because it just so happens that two stories day after day were in Connecticut, one kind of supporting the other. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.